Welcome back to my channel, baddies. Um, you're probably gonna hear the thunderstorm. I don't know if we're still under tornado watch. I don't think we are. The kids are in the closet, so it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's Florida. It's Florida. Um, I made this little cutie patootie. Oh, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Dude, look how cute. I even did like a little picnic blanket underneath. Okay, I'm done, sorry. I'm gonna teach you how to do that in today's video. I'm so excited. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if you hear all the thunder. Um, my studio, which haters would say is my garage, is not that soundproof yet. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys, happy Saturday. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoy how much more content I have been putting out there because I have been working overtime. I have been working so hard to produce all of that extra content for you guys because I love you and it makes my heart happy. So I hope it makes your heart happy. Leave me a comment. And um, I just love you guys very much. I'm very thankful. Thank you for being here on this journey with me. Who knows where it's gonna lead us, but I'm excited. Are you excited? Cause I'm excited. I'm Liddy. Tiddy. <laughs> okay. I love you. Have a good, 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 good weekend. And it is my goal to have another video up on Monday. Um, so please ring the bell, knock on the door, don't break the window and all of that good stuff so that you get a notification if I do upload on Monday morning. Besitos. I see that you're back for another top shelf high quality voiceover. Let's get into it. I'm starting with the 12 ounce shorty from the Steel Magnolia and I'm taking alcohol ink markers. Now, if you're loyal, you're loyal, then you already know that these are the markers that I used for a tie dye tumbler not long ago. So you probably already have them, but if you're new um, or if you're disloyal, I'm just kidding, um, then you haven't bought these, which is fine because I'll link them in the description. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm taking an alcohol ink marker and just drawing straight lines all the way down the tumbler. Now to get the best coverage, I recommend that you do it the way that I'm doing it. If you go back and forth like this, um, you're gonna add and remove alcohol like alcohol ink. Like that's just the way alcohol inks work. When you put alcohol ink on top of alcohol ink, it like activates it and it almost removes some of it. So that's why you get better coverage if you just try to do the way that I'm doing versus going back and forth like this. Um, oh, sweetie, I'm not all looks. Sometimes I'm smart about some stuff. Just kidding, <laughs> I'm all looks. Just kidding, I'm not even that fine. Leave me alone, Linda. So. The next thing that you're gonna have to do is move your hands as fast as you possibly can to get it done. Just kidding. Um, this is a time lapse, but go at your own pace, take your time. And what I was trying to do was I was trying to switch markers back and forth, but really in the end, I realized that they all really look the same. So just use the same marker, it's fine. But you are going to need your darkest brown um, color after you're done laying down your base because that's how we're going to divide up like the boards the boards the little wood palette thingies you know that make the basket that's how oh excuse me oh excuse me i'm i'm very sorry i apologize um that's how we're going to divide up like the little boards the little you know what i'm trying to say i know there's a bougie word for it i'm sure but i barely know basic english i barely know enough basic English to keep me in this country. So I don't, I'm just kidding. I got my green card, take it easy. Okay, so you're gonna wanna use that dark, dark, dark brown to kind of imitate having like the boards, the the, the wooden panels, <sighs> I don't know what they're called. And um, I'm gonna take the same color that I did the whole base of the tumbler and I'm gonna do the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's wood. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you could just follow the same technique that I did and do it at the top. Obviously it's hard because you've got some curves and stuff, but once it's dry, look how beautiful it looks. Oh, my Lanta Santa. I bet you can hear the thunder. And no, it wasn't a fart. That was legitimate thunder. Um, we were under tornado warning like five minutes ago, but I'm a gangsta. So as soon as it was done, I came to film. So I went ahead and added 30 mLs of epoxy 
I'm sorry, no, I did 20 mLs of epoxy. I did 10 of part A, 10 of part B. And once I had it, you know, a nice smooth coat of epoxy over it, I took some painter's tape. Now you guys know me. I'm not a huge measurer, measurer. I'm not a, I'm not a person who measures, you know, I'm just not. You know, this is kind of how Mexicans cook too. We eyeball things, you know, there is no teaspoon, tablespoon, none of that. You just put, echale poquito, you just add a little bit and you gotta figure out what that means. But you can measure if you want. But what I did was I placed a piece of painter's tape in the center of the tumbler so that it could serve as a guide to where I was gonna put my two strips of double-sided tape. Now I'm doing this because I want them to be spaced out evenly. Um, and so I'm only using that middle part of the tape to guide me and then I'm gonna pull it right off. And we're gonna use Shadow Blue, which is a glitter from Yvette, Maestro Creations. Nobody knows this yet, but she's actually on a plane to my house right now as we speak. Ah, I'm excited. Okay, so I am removing the backing off of the double-sided tape, and then I'm just gonna dump my glitter. Da 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 dump it, let it fall, let it drizzle. Isn't that such a beautiful, glitter is awesome. Glitter is amazing. I get to play with glitter for fun all the time. Like what? Oh my gosh, look at it, it's so sparkly. It's brighter than my future, it's so beautiful. I just love it. Then you can take your booger hook and just kind of rub that glitter into the double-sided tape to make sure that you didn't miss a spot. I feel like I have to sneeze, oh no, oh no, I don't. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry if that was really loud in your ear. I don't wanna edit this, you know. So I'm just gonna leave that sneeze in there. This is real life. Okay, so once I brush off that excess, I am going to start on my, on my topper. And I'm gonna take just something and push that little center piece out. We don't need that. And then I'm gonna get a little piece of painter's tape and just cover the little drink hole, just because I don't wanna get anything on it. You know, I wanna keep it nice and clean. I do also wanna let you know that that glitter, I'm sealing it with polycrylic spray. Um, I'm gonna do three times three even coats and let them dry before I epoxy because I don't want the glitter to go all over the tumbler. But while that's drying, we're gonna prep our tumbler. Now I did, I did wipe this lid down with alcohol before I started. And what I'm doing is I am filling in that space because it's got kind of like a little dip where the little lid slider thingy was. We're gonna fill that in with hot glue. The reason we're filling this in is because whenever you wash your tumbler, you don't want all this water to like seep under there and build up mold, you know, because you're not gonna need that part. It's gonna have strawberries on it. Um, a lot of people do like removable uh, toppers. Um, those are really a, a really smart thing to do too, but I just really like doing my toppers this way because it gives me a little bit more freedom of where I can stack the strawberries. Like with a removable topper, I probably wouldn't have been able to stack this many because they're a little bit smaller, the inserts. Anyway, so I like to do my lids this way, but you can always provide your customers with an extra lid. So then once that centerpiece where we put all of our glue completely dries, I'm cutting out a piece of cardstock paper um, and kind of trying to match that you know, centerpiece in size and like cut out the little hole where the little drink opening is. And um, I'm doing this because if anybody kind of looks like this, I want it to look like it's a little like, I don't know, picnic basket. Like, you know, like you threw a blanket in the basket and you're just collecting strawberries. I don't know. But so after our glue is dry, we're gonna take UV resin. Um, right now I am using resin rockers. I've been really obsessed with their UV resin. It's like water. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like beyond crystal clear. So once I put that there, um, I cure it under the UV light. And once it's completely cure and dry to the touch, I'm gonna take a little bit of liquid polycrylic. You can get it at Lowe's, Walmart. I will link it in the description. And I am putting a little bit down on top of that dry UV resin, just to stick down my piece of cardstock paper. And um, the more that the polycrylic dries, the more that it will stick. And so I kind of just use my fingers and push it down to make sure that I've got like, you know, no openings, that it's completely adhered to the lid. Once it's dry and I know that it's not going anywhere, I take a very thin coat of polycrylic and I 
put it over and then I let it dry and then I go back in. I did a total of three coats of polycrylic liquid um, over the cardstock paper. And then when it was completely, completely dry, I went back in and, um, okay, obviously I'm putting epoxy on the cup. <laughs> Once my glitter dried, I put epoxy on my tumbler and then um, I came back and I did my lid. Um, I did another coat of UV resin on top of my little flannel blanket. And I'm being very careful to not get anything on that little uh, drink opening, but I am also being extra detailed and making sure that I am fully getting every little corner, every little nook and crevice, making sure that that little piece of cardstock paper that's right there by the opening, making sure that I have that completely sealed in because if you're gonna rinse this with, with water, you don't want your lid to be compromised. So I am taking my time, making sure that I am completely protecting this cardstock paper and that it could get wet and it's nothing's gonna happen to it. So take your time. And if you need to do two coats of UV resin, you can. I only did one, but I had really good coverage, but you are a thousand percent welcome to do two coats. So, um, so just to clarify the steps, cause I feel like I got a little, ah! So I sealed the glitter three times with spray polycrylic, let it dry, then I epoxied it and I was working on my lid while that was drying. So I just take a little bit of um, that little fire starter thingy-majiggy and I just pop the bubbles that are on top of the UV resin. Now, before I stick it under the UV lamp while the UV resin is still wet, I'm gonna take my strawberries and kind of place them where I want them to go. I'm trying to place them as close as I can to the drink hole because I want them to cover that little area right there. Um, of course, it's not gonna be 100% perfect and beautiful, but it's fine. It's a tumbler and it's it's handmade. Nothing that is handmade is going to be perfect. So don't be so hard on yourself if you're if it doesn't look exactly perfect. It's still a very cute topper and it's a very cute idea. So you're going to do amazing. So once I have my strawberries placed where I want them, I put it under the UV light and then I made sure that I was picking it up and tilting it just so that that UV light would get in, in between those little nooks and crevices. And guys, I mean, the strawberries are on there like they're not going anywhere. I mean, look at this thing. Like those strawberries are on there. So they're gonna be very secure. Now I decided to add just one more strawberry on top. So I just took a little bit of UV resin and that's how I adhered it. And of course I took my UV lamp and got it to stick on there. I did not seal my strawberries um, with anything else. You don't need to, they're plastic. You can get them wet, they're gonna be just fine. And I made sure that they were very secure. And then I took my decal that I found on Etsy and I printed it on printable vinyl and I am just gonna stick it on here. I really like to put my decals on while my tumbler is sitting straight up just because I get a much better idea of what it's gonna look like. Um, anytime I've done it laying down, I always get them a little bit crooked, but when I stand my tumbler straight up like this, I just get it a lot more straight because I'm looking at it like this. Ah! Okay, does it wanna focus on this? Focus. Did it focus? No? Okay. <laughs> um, and so what I'm doing is I'm taking my sausage finger and I'm kind of working out the air bubbles as I'm going. You don't want any air bubbles under this, okay? No air bubbles. And once I know it's really on there and it's very adhered and it's not gonna lift, I pushed everything down. I went in and sealed it with epoxy. I didn't record that part, I'm so sorry, but I did seal it with 20 mls of epoxy 10 mls of part a 10 mls of part b and that's all it needed i cleaned it up i put my topper on it and it is just so beautiful it's such a cute little idea i'm obsessed with it and i hope that you are too i'll see you guys oh i got cut off i'll see you guys on monday besito <laughs>